Long snap time, perfectly executed. Now don't come at me. Okay, the Diases, the father Steve, the son Zach, they have perfected the long snap and then the block. One was a former giant, one is a current giant, and they recently took a car ride together. Hey everyone, Zach Diossi here. My old man joined us, Steve Diossi. Come along, join us for the drive. When did I start playing football, Dad? I think fifth grade is when I started doing tackle. Well, I remember you, you were 10 years old when you told me you were playing football. You weren't really like the f little league type father at all. You just showed up to practice in the corner with your cigar and for the most part, it was just sort of learn on the fly, let me learn the game on my own. I have one more ring than my dad. <laughs> There's three in the family. And then, yeah. That's and all then, that matters. And then the first time I dropped that on him, he, he, <laughs> he put it, some perspective to it, saying that the Diossis have three. My dad knows what it's like to, to reach that, that pinnacle of, yeah. of football and why we play this game. Winning a Super Bowl is rare enough. It's one of the most meaningful events in, in your uh, non-family life. 2007 versus 1990. That pass rush was brutal for the the, the oh, 17? 017. They yeah. could bring it. They could bring it, and they didn't. They didn't care. They they knew it too. But our offensive line was pretty sharp. You know, I wouldn't say they were huge or or overly athletic, but they were good and smart and. You know, basically everything I'm saying is leading up to one thing. Damn right we would have won. What are you, crazy? Ah, of course. On. Oh, what? Well, not to take anything away, but you only won because the guy missed a field goal. We yeah. forced him to miss it. Oh, yeah. yeah that that too. team was scoring 40 points a game in the playoffs, and we held them to, what, 19? It's not like the Patriots were that good yeah, in 07, great. were they? Yes, they were not. Were the Patriots any good in 07? <laughs> The art of long snapping. Yeah. You either can or you can't do it. Anyone can perfect the technique, but when it comes down to snapping the ball when it counts, yes. Like, you can't read that. Nope. You can't teach that. Nope. As it comes through experience and and uh, a little bit of swag, a little bit of ignorance, a little bit of stupidity. Yep. But you can't teach that. You can't teach how to snap in a big position. You can't teach how to. Uh, how to be impervious to the uh, huge stage that you're on, and you've you've found a way to. Uh, well, to in do your it. case, better to be lucky than good. In yeah. my case, it was. A it was what practice? Pure. I, I didn't have. I didn't have time. Grit. The end of the game against San Francisco to get into the Super Bowl. The the Niners were supposed to three peat. They won two Super Bowls and were supposed to easily three peat. They beat us during the season. And that was, uh, winning that game was, was tremendous, and, and uh, I loved every second of it. Fans are on their feet and screaming. Snap, spot, kick is away, it's got the distance. It is good, good, And the good. Giants are going to Tampa Bay. It's over for the three-peats. Yep, same thing. Beating the 49ers, overtime, wet. Threw a little knuckleball back there to Weatherford. My man scooped it right up, put it down. Tynesy smoked it through, and we went to the Super Bowl. I mean, I don't think it's it gets any bigger than that. The best. That was <laughs> right. That was incredible. Remember? All right, we're back with Christian Dyer, who helps cover the Giants for MSG.com. It's an amazing story. Zach Diossi has been the long snapper for the Giants for 12 seasons. His father, Steve, as we just learned yeah. and already knew, was a long snapper on a Super Bowl champion team. Steve actually revolutionized the position. And I joked uh, on the intro into the piece because before Steve Diossi, the snapper didn't block. Steve was the guy, the first guy that was a long snapper that then blocked in the punting formation. Really changed things for the, the position. I remember asking Steve Weatherford, the former Giants punter, ab about him, and, and he said that, well, about the son, and he, and he said, you know, that he was such a tremendous athlete, always the first one down the field, oftentimes in practice, before the Gunners, just raved about his athleticism. We don't think of a long snapper as being a tremendous athlete, but, but he certainly has the bloodlines for the, it. Like, just think about the odds. <clears throat> the odds of all of that we just saw. Father and son, long snapper. Long snapper is so random, right? Same team, win Super Bowl, and then their favorite moments, both in the playoffs against the 49ers. I mean, all that stuff. And candlestick. How, how it all happens to be. Don't be noticed, right, Alan? I mean, well, that's the other thing is that you, no one thinks about the long snapper unless what happens? 
The ball goes way too over the head. Luckily, you nailed the target. I know. Right I there know. In the open you were impressed, weren't you? Yeah, I was. No, yeah, it was it's a lot of practice made that career, Bill. <laughs> That's right. But you know what else, too? Now, as we're talking about snapping, obviously, uh, uh, Jalapeo is going to be under – he'll be the one snapping to Eli. But that offensive line, Christian, to me, I know we're going to talk about Eli versus Daniel Jones and who, when is Daniel Jones going to play – the offensive line is going to set the tone of what kind of season this is for the Giants, correct? Uh, well, if, if it establishes Saquon Barkley as yep. the running back and, and the go-to and the premier running back, we all think he can be. Certainly, I think that's going to make things easier for Eli Manning. And you go back and you look at Eli Manning, the offensive line that he's had in front of him for the past three, four, five years. Not much. I think a lot, yeah, not much. there's not a lot to think about. The whole right side positions. just collapsed. <laughs> just and and the left side wasn't too far behind either with some <laughs> of the pieces that they have that they've moved on for. And I think you have to give uh, Pat Shermer some credit and, and general manager Dave Gettleman a lot of credit for what they did and the pieces that they brought in. They, dra they started last year with free agency with Nate Solder, who I know had some ups and downs last year, but certainly he was somebody who who really came in and helped solidify and I think changed the identity of the offensive line. Will Hernandez in the interior. We talked about Jalapio and, and some of the other pieces that they have. Uh, they, they've really changed the look and feel of this. And Eli Manning under center two years ago had the fastest release time in the NFL. And that was by design <laughs> very often because they just wanted him not to get killed back there. I think now if they can do this with some of the downfield targets that they have, this Giants offense has a good chance to be, I'm not going to say it's going to be stellar and put up massive points, but I think they can be respectable, change field position, put up some points, help out a young defense. O-line, you only notice it when there's mistakes, and maybe this year you don't talk much about it. Same thing as the long snapper. Christian, thanks so much for your help today. We appreciate it. For more great videos from the MSG 150, check out right there. Remember, our show is on Monday through Thursday, 8 to 10.30 p.m. on MSG Network and MSG Go.